right, so some of you guys asked me to kind of explain how you do the Roach Warren. Um, so I'm going to explain to you what I do. Or the, what is it, the Evil Chamber, I mean? Sorry, the Roach Warren. Well, yeah, it's the Roach, Roach Warren one, right? Because you could do it with the Evil Chamber, too. So, first we have a hatchery, right? And with the hatchery, when you cancel, you only have a little bit of time to uh, to get the hat to to get another evil chamber or roach warren or pool, whatever you want. You only have a little bit of time, so it's not an easy task to do with the way that the mechanics are set up in, in StarCraft, you know, the, the basic ones. Because what you're going to have to do here is you hit, you know, you, you cancel and you have to click B for build, right? You have to click the evil chamber, whatever that key is. Um, and then you have to left click what you want right so for example uh, my evil chamber is set to F my evil chamber is set to F right so that's my evil chamber so that's one button that I have to click but before that I have to do build right build basic build so you hit the B key then you hit whatever the key is for the evil chamber so for the evil chamber it's basic instead of the V for advanced so there's two keys advanced and basic for this one we have to do two keys we have to hit build then we have to hit yes we want the evil chamber right and then you have to uh, left click So you have to do three separate options. You know, you have to hit B, F, and you have to hit the mouse at the right time to get there because you have to left click. But I think where the problem is, is the left click. I think the problem is on the left click because the left click, you can hit B, F really quick. But if you don't get exactly at the right time, location you know if you don't get it the right location um, then and, and you're off a little bit because you moved your mouse a little bit when you try to build it you might not be there at, it might it might be too late you know clicking this clicking this and then clicking this there's time delay uh, and it's all it's not that comfortable to do B then F then because that means you know what if you missed hit the wrong key and then what what if the time that it takes you hit the B and then the F takes too long as well? So how do I how do I make that faster? So what I do is I replace or I don't replace, but I add the F key under the basic command. So the basic command I also have an additional key. And so what I do is I I clicked as the additional key. I put F because that's my evil chamber. And of course you have your F that you get to get the evil chamber. So what this does is all you have to do is hit F twice. And it's the same thing as hitting BF. So instead of BF, you hit FF. Way quicker to hit FF than BF because you have to relocate your finger to one from one location to the other, and that takes time. If you're just quickly rapiding a finger to one button, you can click it way faster, and that's the the time that you save to actually get it in on time, accurate. Now, the part where I said the mouse, sometimes you might move your mouse, and your mouse might not be in the right spot, and then it it actually messes up your hatchery turning into an evil chamber 
because you only have a little bit of time and you only have a certain space to do it. Anything else is going to mess it up. So what do I do here is I also attached DF. So instead of left clicking to say yes, I want it there, hitting F allows me to do that because I set it to rapid fire. So F is my rapid fire. So then therefore it says instead of left clicking, you could just hit the key one more time wherever you want it and it's going to build it. So when you have FFF and you don't even have to use the mouse, well, what I do is all I do is with my, with my right hand, I hit escape while I'm tapping F with my left hand. So I don't even move that key. I, I, because I'm not using my mouse, I just hit escape with my right hand and my left hand just click, click, click. And it allows me to get it done like 99% of the time instead of having times where you're like, oh, I wasted 100 because it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work again at 200. This is more like 99% accuracy how I do this. And that makes a build worth doing instead of not doing it because it's too complicated and I mess up and it just doesn't work. But if I could tell you that you could do it at like 99% accuracy, then you might want to do stuff like this more often because it's actually now viable. You might want to block their evil chamber. With the evil chamber, you might want to block the Protoss more by making a hatchery then canceling into an evil chamber because you, you're you able to do this successfully now. Um, so that's that's what I do. So I'll show you what, what happens. Okay, I'm going to make the hatchery. And while it's making, I'm going to set my mouse into a certain spot. And all I'm going to do is hit escape and hit FFF, which is going to say build evil chamber right here. Okay, FFF, build evil chamber right here. Click all three. So we're going to go back. I want to make a hatchery, right? Left click it. So where my mouse is, you see this right here where there's like a little blob? That's where you want to put your mouse. It's like right underneath this area. So. Yeah. Right here. This sweet spot. That's the sweet spot. You see this little circle thing that goes around? That's where you want it. So I'm going to put this right here. And then I'm going to escape and just rapidly type F, 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 F. And then you got the Roach Warren. You want to make sure, like I said, that you know where to put your mouse when you don't, because you're going to let go of it. You're not going to touch it anymore. So wherever it's at, if you put it in the right spot, which is right above this area, you with your right hand, you can't hit escape while you tap F. And that's how you do it. Cheers. So if you're in the menu, how do you how do you do this? How do you set that up? Well, the good thing is you go into your options, you go into your hockey section, and let's just say Let's just go to standard, right? Or let's, yeah, let's go to standard. It's a little tricky with grid. Um, if you want to do, if you really want to do it and you, you have grid, um, you have to save your file. And then you have to go into your, your, your files uh, hockey section. So whatever the whatever your uh, name is on your profile for the hockeys, it'll come up if you search for it on your computer. And under Notepad, you click it. Everything that you put that's a change, anything that you change, 
it's going to show here. If you didn't change anything, then it's going to be blank when you look at it because it'll only change, it'll only input something that you already changed as, as a change. So that's how this works. So what you want to do is if you have, um, how would I say, if you have, um, what is it, grid? Um, I believe, let's go to grid. Except hockeys. Okay. Yeah. See, it doesn't show very much. So, yeah, see, it doesn't. Where's your build advance? Yeah, it doesn't have your build advance like, like the other one. So, there's a little trick to this one, and I'll show you how to do that if you, if you want. So, we're going to go to standard. Right, standard is the easiest because it allows you to change things. You know, if this is your, if you click on the probe, if you go to the build in advanced, or let's go to Zerg. If you go to the drone, you have the build and you have the advanced, right? Build and advanced. So this is what you want to change. And you want to put it with it right here. So let's say their evil evil chamber is V here. For this standard one, we're gonna put V. Advanced mutated, a lot of advanced structures. Oh, okay. That's not gonna work because then we're gonna have another. We have to put V for something else. So instead of V, well. You would have to change the evil chamber to another hotkey outside of V, because V is taken uh, for putting another one here. Since since these two can't share the same keys, just know that the the build advanced, the basic build and the advanced they can't share keys. So if you want a T here, then the other one can't have a T in here. It, it, they don't they don't do that. So. Let's just say, because the evil chamber, we can make it into another key. We can go, okay, I also want the evil chamber, instead of just V, I also want it as, you know, K. You know, K is not a, a key that, I, that it should be used, right? Nobody uses K. And so that'll be the one that I want to click on. So I'll save it. And so every... Let's see here so that'll be K so if I click K that'll make it I go to build basic I'll put K here so that has K and the evil chamber has K so we accept it and then we go to global let's say uh, Let's just do that. F H H F hockeys. Okay, create. So we're gonna create it. If we go to global, we go to unit management, and then right here, choose ability or AI target. That is your rapid fire right there. This is your rapid fire. So right there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna want K. Because it's going to add another, it's like, what rapid fire do you want to set? Well, I want to set K because I made my evil chamber secondary as K. I made my um, basic build set as K. And now I set my rapid fire with K. So I just hit the accept. Right. And I should be able to see here okay so that's my I search my my file and guess what the things that I changed are right here so target 
choose equals left mouse button K. Evolution chamber drone V V and K. So instead of just V for Evo, it's also a K. And then the Zerg build, basic build, is set to just it's B and K. So every time you hit K, it's gonna be the basic build. Every time you hit K again, it's the Evo chamber instead of just V since we don't we're not able to use advanced V without messing that up. So we changed it into K as well. So you're able to push an evil chamber at an, at that weird key whenever you're going to do that trick. And it's not going to bother you. And then we got the target rapid fire. It's set to K. So that's going to allow you to click. Instead of clicking with the mouse, you click it one more time and that'll build that'll build your units. That'll that'll build your your buildings. Um so that's the three steps. It's you basic build. I want an evil chamber and I want it here. So build it. So click, click, click. So now that it's there, then um, if you want to try this, uh, if you have grid, what you want to do is you want to save this. Right? We're going to save that. And I'll go to grid. And with grid, we're going to go unit management. We're going to, how will we do this? We'll, we'll put this as, let's see if this will work. Let's put K as well. Let's, I want to check if if I could um, let me see a second hotkeys okay create all right so target it hit the um, so it does have the rapid fire set as K and then what I did is I copy pasted the old file that we did on on classic. We copied it so that we can get the actual wording. Uh, so now that we do that, we're going to cut this off because the command is already there. And this is under commands that we what we want. So basically, we just, you know, keep that wording there. And then we could see if it saves. Because that would be telling the Zerg build to be K as well. And that's going to tell the evil chamber to be K as well under the commands of your grid. So let's see if it works. So let's go into a custom. Let's try both of them. Create with mod. And in build so let's see if I'm curious if the grid works because grid is complicated because they don't normally let you add that into the uh, files because it doesn't give you anything to, to look at so we're going to just see wrong year <laughs> Here. Have fun. Oh dear, my memory is going. Okay, so let's see. There we go. So we're on the grid, right? And we are going to hit K. K again. And K one more time. So boom. So we did what we needed to do. Now let's go into the other options. Let's go to hotkeys ho to the um, this is the F hotkeys. Okay, accept. And then we're gonna just KKK. There you go. And boom. So you're able to do this with the classic first. 
If you have grid, do it under classic like I showed you. And uh, and then save that file, save the co copy that copy that format, and then save your hockey layout from grid, and then copy that into the uh, the file the for the information just like I showed you. And that way you could do it under classic, as well as you can also do it under grid. But just remember, like I said, you can't just do it off of grid because you have to change something and it doesn't show you this so you have to do it under classic copy it and paste it gg